Hello everyone, this is the tutorial for Legendary. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. It doesn't matter if you have an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar, it's going to work in the same way. But to play the easiest, we're going to need a capo on fret 1. If you're in need of a capo, there is a link to one in the description. So, the song starts off with a chord that we kind of pick around. If you're not interested in learning that, just skip it a little bit ahead. However, we're going to go over the notes for that. Now, what we need is a C major shape which is three on the A string, and this is in reference to the capo, three, two on the D string, an open G string, one on the B, and an open E string. And what we're gonna do is pick the A string, the G and the B. And then we're gonna to go to an open A string, so we're gonna actually take this finger off, and play D, G, B, G, and then D. Then we put that finger back on and play the D, G, B, and then add your little finger to the D string and play the D, G, B, and then take your little finger off again and go from the D, G, B, D strings again. So slowly, all together, we get this. And we're going to loop that round two times for the introduction. Now there are some chords behind that. For the rest of the song I'm going to talk about what chords they are and strumming along to it. And the chords are C major. And what we're going to do is play that kind of strumming. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Or for the for the counting, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we go from C to F. F major being 3 on the D string, 2 on the G, 1 1 on the B and E. Then we share a bar between A minor and G, which is A minor is an open A string, 2 2 on the D and G strings, 1 on the B and an open E string. You can see I jumped to this G chord earlier, which is 3 on the E, 2 on the A. 0, 0, 0, and then a 3 on the high E string. Before going to a bar of F and G. Now those chords in that order is going to play a big part of this song. So if you're interested in getting everything wrought out professionally in a chord chart as well as the chords and the lyrics matching up, head on over to Patreon. You can get everything uh, wrought out professionally and it saves you from writing it out, potentially making a mistake. However, let's just go over those chords and you can see how it all fits together. C, F, A minor to G, F to G. Now, when the vocals properly kick in, we play the same set of chords again. I mentioned that they are a very important set of chords. It's going to happen straight away yet again two times round for the first verse. We then lead into the pre-chorus, which is an F major chord. To a C major chord with an open E in the bass. All I mean by that is play a C chord and get in the open E string as well. Before going to D minor. Zero on at the D string. 2 on the G, 3 on the B, and a 1 on the high E string. And then we go to the C slash E again. And then 2 bars of G. To demonstrate that we have... And there's the pre-chorus. In fact, when we get into the chorus, it's the same chords as we had in the verse. The C, F, A minor, G, and so on. Do that round twice and you've got the chorus. We're then getting some repetition, uh, just like a lot of songs do. And there's this small link section, which is just that guitar riff again. 
play through that twice before it leads into a second verse. The second verse is that main set of chords that we've talked about a few times already. Do that once round for the uh, second verse. We then have a pre-chorus, same as before. We then have another chorus, which is the same as all the other choruses. However, we then get to a bridge section, which is kind of different, kind of not different. Let's talk through it. We have the C major chord. Going to F major. Then A minor to G. Up to now, pretty bog standard. F major to G. However, we then have C major to F major. And then it cuts into the next part of the song, which is the chorus. Do that two times round as every other chorus is the same. And then you get to the outro. And the outro is the same set of chords. I've talked about these chords a bajillion times already. Play through that twice and you've got to the end of the song. They do finish on good old C major. So that's a nice chord to finish with. So if you are interested in getting the chords and the chords and the lyrics raw out, do head on over to Patreon. In fact, the people on the screen, who are my active patrons, they will get this content straight away the moment this video goes live. So thanks to them for watching, and thanks to you for watching as well. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.